Like I said on this piece, the King Cole Trio piece, this was not a platform of only music. Artists saw potential in this too, and once they saw that potential, there was no turning back. They jumped on the bandwagon, and it was off to the races. Artists such as Andy Warhol and the Velvet Underground, and others like this and this, became influential in the marketplace of album art cover work. I think the person that said it best of this experience of trying to find music through only artistry on the front cover was Bon Jovi. See, he said, I try to explain that to my kids. The experience of going to a record store, flipping through the racks, and finding that album cover that intrigues you. But my kids don't want to know about it. They download the one song on the album they like, and pay their 99 cents. That quote right there speaks volumes of the artwork and its power over people. See, the album artwork was the first thing people saw when purchasing an album back in the 1940s all the way to the 1980s. They didn't have the opportunity to listen to any of the songs. And this is where the marketing genius behind this idea is shown. See, from the examples around me, some are dull, but some are fantastic or simple. And I think the simple ones speak volumes. Like take for example one of the best selling records of all time, Dark Side of the Moon. It's such a simple design and yet invokes so many weird ideas and prisms and triangles and it's art. It's the forgotten art form of its day. But I digress. Back to the album cover art and something that I think is lost to this generation. It's fascinating to walk up and down the aisles of record stores and just look for covers that intrigue you. It's something that we don't get nowadays. I found some of my favorite bands walking up and down aisles in record shops nowadays, like some of these. Yes, of course you can go look on your phone and see the cover art and go, oh, that's cool. but. There's nothing like that today. CDs just minimized the effect on consumers, and it wasn't as prominent as it once was. The art form slowly declined over time. There are hundreds of fascinating examples of eye-catching album covers. Way too many to go through in one video. But the power to intrigue and get someone to purchase an album simply by the picture or illustration is something I find truly inspiring and interesting. So how does something so intriguing and interesting and somewhat spiritual <laughs> relate to something as dull and clickbaity as YouTube thumbnails? Well, it's actually quite simple. Sell me this pen. Sell me this album. Sell me this video. You can thank Jordan Belfort for that. But his methodology ranged true. You see, movies do it with trailer guys. In a world where Seagull Sphere almost has 20 followers. Ad guys do it with catchy taglines and alluring characters like OMG, Becky's not even hot. And if you've got cut rate insurance, you could be paying for this yourself. So get Allstate. You can save money and be better protected from mayhem like me. And Hello, I'm a Mac. And I'm a PC. And music had done it for four decades. From the 1940s all the way to the 1980s with album cover art. And now, a new player has entered the game, YouTube. See, YouTube took a very old concept in marketing and upgraded it for the 21st century. Of course, I'm talking about custom thumbnails or visuals that allure the audience into clicking on a video. There are 450 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every single minute. And to pick between this one or this one can get a little hard. 
But with the addition of the custom thumbnail, which got popular in 2012 according to my research, YouTube has created a new way for creators like me and like everyone else on the program to get clicks. Recently though, this has come back to bite YouTube in the ass with creators going the more sexual or perversive side to get clicks. Like these. And these. I would say please don't demonetize me YouTube, but I don't even have enough followers right now to get demonetized, so. Keep following guys, maybe I can get demonetized in the future. 100 subs, feet reveal. I know, it's a crazy thing, but it's true. I don't have feet, or maybe I do. But when we break down both YouTube thumbnails and album cover arts, we see a similarity. And I'm not pointy at my dick. Please come up. That's what she said, but advertising. That's, that's what I was trying to point to. Don't put words in my mouth. I am not thinking that right now. He's lying. The editor is lying. I am not thinking that right now. <sighs> that could have got me demonetized. Still can't get demonetized. Oh yeah, never mind. Okay. But when both are broken down to the simplest form, they both appeal to the same part of the brain. The intrigue and curiosity of the product behind the pictures, or picture in YouTube's case and album cover art. So it comes down to this, why should you care? Well, it's quite simple actually. Let me explain. Remember when I said this at the beginning of the video? No. The one question I have to ask is, how do you create interest in a product? Well, I basically just taught you marketing 101. You're welcome. Go tell your professor to subscribe. You might learn a thing or two on here. Wait, is marketing 101 that sex sells? No, I mean, yes, sex does sell, but that's not what I was trying to teach you here. You got the complete wrong lesson. I mean, sex does sell, but look, that's not the lesson I was trying to teach. Oh, okay. And although at the beginning of these videos, to you and definitely to me, these worlds seemed miles apart, but actually digging deeper into it, I saw the web started to connect, and it all fell under one idea, and that is the idea of, again, not pointing to my dick, where's, there it is. I mean, th yes, my dick is down there too, but. Advertising, advertising was the thing that I was trying to get towards. Advertising, that's the important thing here. But for me, this went one step further. See, I wanna be in the film industry. And to be in that industry, you need to know how to create something intriguing to an audience. And seeing a world that something can get clicks based on solely one picture fascinated me. And so, as an homage to that idea, the rest of my videos will feature a new background. Yes, I'm talking about my new wall decoration. This was a totally elaborate prank on you guys, just so I could get a new wall decoration. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you, I'll take my Oscar now. Um, I'd like to thank the Academy. God, this is gonna be a lot of editing, but there's an Oscar in my hand, damn it. There will be. Have fun trying to edit this. So yes, the homage will be the album cover art that hangs behind me. And you guys can follow along and see what kind of records I'm looking into and what artists I'm listening to and trying to discover by looking at the wall. And I know these videos aren't perfect yet, but I'm working on them. This is actually my third take of this one section because I don't know how to focus. Um, but I hope you guys do enjoy. My name is Siegel as always. Stay tuned. I have something really big coming up next week. Um, I've been working on it all week. I hope you guys enjoy. But to make sure you see what happens next week and all my latest adventures, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the little bell. Not Le'Veon Bell. By the way, he just signed the Jets. If you want to know what day I'm recording this. Yeah, he signed yesterday. You do the math. But anyway, guys, you've been amazing watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! It'll work.